Hey everyone, welcome to Morali, your channel for React Native content. Today we're going to be talking about the view component. First we'll talk about what it is, and then I'll show you how to use it uh, via a quick example. So first off, what the view component is, is it's the most fundamental component for building a UI, user interface. It's a container that supports layout with flexbox, style, some touch handling, and accessibility controls. View maps directly to the native view equivalent on whatever pl platform React Native is running on, whether that is a UI view, a div, Android dot view, etc. View is designed to be nested inside other views and can have zero to many children of any type. Views are designed to be used with style sheet for clarity and performance, although inline styles are also supported. Uh, today we'll be using a style sheet. Um, so I'll show you how to use that. I've done inline styling on previous videos. Um, so if you're interested in that, check out the previous videos to see some inline styling. Uh, last little detail for view responder props, such as uh, on responder move, the synthetic touch event passed to them are in the form of press event. Um, so you can take a look at the documentation uh, for more details on that, I'll provide it in the description below. Um, so now on how to implement it, in today's tutorial, I'll show you a simple example of how to implement the view component with several variations, including a custom view component implementation. So now that we know what it is, let's go ahead and jump into an example in the code. So let's go to the components folder, right click new file, we're going to call this view component.js. And for our snippet, we're going to type rnfes, React Native Functional Export Component with Style Sheet. Hit enter. Then what we're going to do is let's go ahead and Let's go ahead and add our stylings down here. So we'll have one called container. We'll have another one called box. And a last one for text. So in this example, the idea is to have a view component that takes a prop called color and a child that is a text component. Um, and what will happen is when we use this component, the property that will be passed is the color of the box, and then the, ch the child will be passed to a text component inside the view component, and that will be the text that's displayed in the box. So if you're confused, just stick with me. This will make more sense in a minute. So we're going to throw in one more view component here. So I'm going to move this, this text component up. I'm going to hold uh, on Mac. I'm going to hold the Option key um, and press the Up arrow. If you're using Windows, you can hold Alt and press the Up or Down arrow to move a line of text. You can also move multiple lines of text by highlighting it, holding the Option or Alt key on Windows, and pressing Up or Down. Okay, so for this view component, we're going to have style equal to styles.container. For this view component, we're going to have style equal to styles.box. And for this text component, we're going to have the style equal to styles.text so let's go ahead and add our styling in here um, we're gonna have flex direction is going to be row the height is going to be 100 and we'll give it a padding of 10 
And let's go ahead and save this. Well, let's go ahead and finish up with the styles first. We'll go ahead and do align items is going to be center. We'll do background color. So if you want to quickly type these different um, styling properties, you can, if you see that here's background color, for example, if I type BGC, we can get background color pretty quickly on that. So typing it all the way up. Uh, let's give it a border radius of say 40 and I'll explain to you why I picked the value 40 once we see the boxes we'll go back over all these different properties here uh, looks like there should be no T here it should be align not aligned okay good and then text we want the color to be white font size of 30 and font weight bold okay good so what we need to add here we need to pull in two things so um, when I talked about it uh, we want the children that's gonna go inside the text component that's gonna be the text that's displayed inside the box and then we have the other property which is going to be color so let's go ahead and pass those through notice that we are destructuring them from the props object and then what we want to do here is for the box we want to be able to set the color of the box so we have a, a default color here of blue however we want to go ahead and if somebody does want to change the color of the box we can add that styling here so we put the square brackets around these two stylings so the one styling there then we're going to add the other styling and it's an object like below in the style sheet so we're going to say BGC background color and we're going to just call this color and that's going to be this color that's passed and I'll show you how that works in just a minute for the text that's going to be displayed, we want to put that here, and that's going to be the children that are passed. So now our view component, our custom view component is complete. Let's go to app.js. Let's go ahead, put it down here. We'll say view component. So it's this one. It's in the components uh, folder and it's called view components. So that's the correct import. Go ahead and import that. I like to separate those. Okay, and so we need to have a opening and closing. Um, we can't just use a self closing in this case because we want this um, child component to be used for our, our text component um, in the view component. So let's go ahead and pass, um, we'll just call this first, we'll make a couple of these. And then we'll go ahead and say color, color equals uh, red. There we go. So here we have our first view component. Um, let's make a couple more get rid of the space here let's make uh, let's do RGB red green and blue and we'll call it the second third okay perfect so it works so um, we could put any color in here um, even let's see if there's an aqua there is so there's lots of unique colors um, that you could actually pass through here to use um, so you could change the text right here to whatever you want it to be for your component for your app um, and it'll be displayed in the middle of the box 
now there's a few more styling things we can change here um, for example uh, if you want this if you want these to be wider say you want this to be 0.8 now we can see that these stretch across 80 percent of the width of the screen and from the center so 40 percent on each side um, see if you want it to go fully across there you go um, and the reason why it's not touching the edges of the screen here is because of our padding right here now if we remove this there we go now we see it's touching the edges of the screen so with our padding here um, just saying padding we're getting a padding of 10 on the left the right the top and the bottom so notice how if I set this to zero, now these also touch the side, but they also touch each other as well. That's not very aesthetically pleasing um, in this case. So I think 10 adds a, adds a nice touch to it. Um, so that's how you would resize it across the screen. Um, let's go back to 0 0.5. Okay. Um, could also change the height of these say 200 so they get much wider so notice how the corners of the box is not as rounded as before that's due to this property here called border radius so what we want to do is you take the height of the box you do two times the padding because you have top and bottom so that's 20 so 200 minus 20 is 180 and you take half of that if you want fully rounded corners and there we go so these almost look like circles um, so 90 would give us that fully rounded uh, style so if we go 100 back to 100 here this is the maximum um, in this case so this is 100 minus 20 is 80 so that means 40 will give us this same effect uh, if we change the, the 9 to a 4 we still have the same effect if we do anything less than that say 30 you'll notice a difference now you can see the uh, there's not as much curvature here it's starting to flatten out on the sides so depending on what style you want to have for that that's how you determine how, what your border radius should be here's what it looks like with the border radius of zero so perfectly square corners so I prefer this style uh, for this example um, if you're not sure what some of these properties are um, feel free to look that up in the documentation. There's a lot of properties that you can change, a lot of things that you can do. Um, you could even do font style here. You could say like italic. And there you go. You can see it's slanted italic. Um, you can make the font size bigger. Um, so that pretty much, uh, oh, last thing you could change is, say, the color of the font. Um, maybe you want this to be black. There you go. A little bit harder to read, uh, which is why I stuck with the white. But, yeah, you could change any color uh, font that you like. If you're trying to determine, you know, what's the best size for your box, um, just keep in mind that, you know, here you have a height of 100, you have the padding of 10, which is the top and bottom. So that gives you uh, a height of, of 80 effectively. Um, so then your font size of 40 um, prits, fit, fits pretty centered uh, in there. That means you'll have about 20 above and 20 below. So 20 plus 40 is 60 plus 20 is 80. So that, that's the total height now with the 100 minus 20. Um, so if you went bigger in this, like say um, your maximum would be size of 80 here. 
Uh, if you want anything bigger than this, uh, this is already pushing it due to the, the width, which we could change to, say, 75 here. If you go anything much bigger than this, you're starting to jump outside of the box. So those are just some factors to keep in mind when you're designing uh, your boxes and your text to fit in a box. Um, so that wraps up today's uh, example for the view component. Uh, tomorrow we're going to continue moving forward with React Native components. Uh, if you like this content, you want to see more of it, please like and subscribe. Um, we do have a Discord channel set up now, so feel free to click the link and join our server um, where we can talk uh, more in detail about certain things in React Native or any problems you're stuck on. Uh, we can help you out with that. Um, if there's any questions that you have or any other content you'd like to see, please drop it in the comment section below. Uh, again, thank you for stopping by. Please like and subscribe, and have a good day.